Come and lie on your right side in one long line, arms overhead and legs on top of each other. You can check yourself with the edge of your mat to see if you're lying completely straight. And don't forget your head in that line. With the inhale, activate your left arm and leg by lifting them a little bit and reaching them away from each other, feeling the length in the whole left side of the body. And exhale as you keep that length. Now as you inhale, start moving your left leg back as your arm moves forward. Keep reaching them away from each other. And on your exhale, come back to center as you keep the length. On the next inhale, you move in the opposite direction. Your leg moves forward as the arm moves back. Now notice what you need to do to prevent yourself from rolling to your back or your belly. Or allow yourself to roll over and notice what you need to do to get back. And then come back to the center and completely relax, allowing your left arm and knee to bend and rest on the ground. Take a deep breath here as you notice the difference between being active and being passive. What muscles in your body are you using to make this movement? And then when you're ready, you can start again, activating your arm and leg and move them in opposite direction. Kind of like the rotor of a helicopter, moving back and forth from the center of your body. Keep breathing as you explore this movement, feeling the opening in the front of the upper leg and belly as the leg reaches back, while at the same time the shoulder blade moves away from the spine as your arm reaches forward. And notice the length around the lower back as the leg reaches forward, and the opening around the chest as the arm reaches back. Now rest again in the center, observing your body as you allow all the muscles to soften. And keep going at your own pace. Inhaling, moving away from the center. And exhaling, returning. And explore how big you want to make the movement. Actively reaching the hand and leg away from each other. As if you're just waking up and having a nice long stretch. And notice the difference between having an active foot, meaning that the toes are pointing towards your face, or a relaxed foot. How does that influence the ease with which you make this movement? Feel how your whole body is working to keep you from rolling over. The movement in the center of your body, the front, the back, and the sides as you're moving. The space around your left ribs. Expanding as you inhale and move. And also notice if the right side of the body is active, even though it's not moving. Now slowly finish the movement, resting on your side with your arm and knee bent. And take a deep breath here. From this lengthening forward and backward movement, we're going to switch to a bit of a side movement, where you work on contracting and lengthening around the hip, waist and shoulder. On your next inhale, make yourself long and straight again. And as you exhale, you bring your left hip, ribs and shoulder towards each other. It's not so much lifting the leg and arm up, or bending the knee or elbow, it's feeling that the left side of your torso contracts. And on an inhale, you reach your hand and heel away from each other again, making space. Now repeat that slowly a few times on your own breath. You can place your right hand on your left waist between the ribs and hip to help you check whether they are moving closer together. And notice the movement around your belly, chest, shoulder and lower back. See if the front and the back of the body are working equally or if you have a tendency to bend forwards or backwards. And if you're noticing this tendency, slow down and see if you can feel what you need to do to create the balance again. Really feel that you're creating space on your inhale. And as you exhale, the whole side moves in towards each other. From your shoulder to your ribs to your hip your leg. And 
And then end this movement on one big final inhale. And completely relax all effort as you exhale. And roll to your back and lie down. And notice whether there's a difference between the left and the right side of your body. And take a deep breath. And does that feel different? And if it does, how does it feel different? Where can you feel that? Now bring yourself to your left side. We'll repeat the movement here to bring back the balance between the left and right side. So again, check whether you're lying in a straight line, arms overhead, resting your head on your upper arm. And inhale, make your right arm and leg strong, create length and space. Exhaling, maintaining that length and space. And as you inhale again, start to make the movement, arm reaching forward as the leg reaches back. Exhale slowly back to the center. And inhale, reaching the arm back while the leg moves forward, finding your balance as you keep creating length. Exhale back to the center and completely relax, allowing your knee and arm to bend. Notice how the movement was on this side and feel where the movement of your breath is now. Now repeat this movement on your own breath and explore the movement on this side. Where do you feel resistance and can you slow down? Take an extra breath and create a bit more space. Feel the opening around the belly, hip, and front leg as you reach your heel back and away. And at the same time, the shoulder blade is moving away from your spine as your arm reaches forward and away. Also keep reaching your hand and heel away from each other, stretching yourself out. Notice the activity on the left side of your body while you're moving the right arm and leg. Feel how you're balancing as the direction of the movement changes. Make sure to relax between the movements. Letting go of all effort. Notice what happens around your lower back as your leg reaches forward. And what can you feel around your chest, shoulder and arm as you reach your arm back? And letting go of all effort as you exhale and return to the center. Allowing your ribs to expand on your inhale. And notice if there's movement in the front, side and back of the ribs. Let your belly be as soft as possible, moving along as you breathe. Slowly finish the movement and relax in the center. Take a deep breath here and notice. And now we'll switch to the side movement again on this side. So on your next inhale, activate your whole body, making yourself tall again. And exhale, hiking your hip up and moving your shoulder and ribs down, shortening around the whole right side of your body. Inhale, creating length and space. And then continue at your own pace, stretching yourself, like you would do in the morning just after you've woken up. And how is the movement on this side of your body? Are the front and the back balanced? And how much space can you create as you inhale? Can you make this movement as fluent as possible? If 
breathe and really feel what you're doing. What's moving, what's not moving. Finish your movement with one last big inhale. And then exhale and totally relax and release. Roll to your back again and notice for a couple of breaths how your body feels now.